This is Martin Lewis here from MoneySavingExpert.com. I was delighted to hear that the University of Portsmouth is doing a special Money Week. There's nothing more important. We as a nation have educated our youth into debt when they go to university, but never educated them about debt. There's nothing wrong with borrowing, providing you do it right. And in fact, of course, as students will know, you've got government-enforced borrowing. That's what the student loan's all about. But unless you know how to work it, how to keep it cheap, how to manage it, and how to budget for it, well, it can all go... <coughs> so, a week like this is absolutely crucial. I think I'm going to focus on two key messages in this little video note. The first one is to say, it's really important to understand the difference between good debt and bad debt. Many grandparents will tell you when you get to university, oh Johnny, don't you do any borrowing, it's not good for you little Johnny, stay away. Not understanding that in today's environment, the only way you're going to be able to live and afford at university is by borrowing money, unless you've got super rich parents of course. So what I really think we need to teach people is when you should borrow, how you should borrow and what you should do. So here are my quick tips for students on borrowing. Let me make it as plain as I can. Good debt! Your student loan is the cheapest long-term debt you'll ever get. It's set at the rate of inflation, which means it doesn't really cost you anything. Because if you borrow a thousand pounds worth of goods, that's enough for ten supermarket shopping trolleys. Well, even if in 20 years time it costs you 1,500 pounds to repay it, because it's set at the rate prices rise, that's still only 10 supermarket shopping trolleys worth. So the impact of borrowing the money doesn't cost you anything. And also, if you don't earn enough, you won't have to repay it. They only take 9% of everything you earn above £15,000. And less than that, you don't have to repay. Then, middling debt. Good for cash flow, but not good for anything else. I'm not sure I'm doing well with that voice, over voice but I'll carry on. Right. Um, 0% overdrafts offered by your bank are good for short-term cash flow if you need money. They're not good for the long-term because as soon as you finish being a student, or you might get a year as a graduate afterwards, bang, they're going to charge you 20% and it's going to be a hefty debt. But if you need extra cash flow in the meantime, it's not the worst way to do it. And then, bad debt, horrible debt, <coughs> spit at debt. That is any form of commercial credit cards or loans. They are at a horrid rate. You don't have income, particularly as a student, even if you're doing a part-time job, it's not that big. That will build up and up and up. If you borrow wrong now, while it doesn't sound much, you could still be in hock by the time you are 30, unable to get a mortgage, unable to get on with your life, unable to reap the benefits of the great job that you'll get, hopefully, after leaving university. So, student loans, good. 0% overdraft, okay. All forms of commercial loans and debt, bad. Now, on to my second tip. Right, budgeting. Do you know, I've done lots of conferences where I've spoken to student welfare advisors, and I know I'm sure you've got your pound stretcher clinics are going to be great, uh, or I've spoken to parents, and they all go, it's incredibly important that we teach students to do a budget. There's nothing more important that we can teach them. And so I often ask this question, okay, so we need to teach students how to manage what they spend, but what shouldn't they spend more than? As a working person, I know I shouldn't spend more than I earn. That's pretty obvious, most people know that. But what we forget to tell students often is what, what you shouldn't spend more than as a student, what your limits are. So here's my top tip. I would say you add up your income from a student loan, any grants you get, any money given to you by parents, and any income you get from work. Add that up, and that's what you shouldn't spend more than. Do note, I didn't include 0% overdraft from the bank. So when you're budgeting, stick within that, and you should do all right. Student life is an amazing opportunity. You will learn a huge amount, but it's also your first start to dealing with that highly competitive commercial world we live in. So the final rule before I go is remember, whatever you spend money on, check out first whether there's a way to save money on it. You'd be shocked whether it's train fares, contact lenses, or even those of you who may have childcare costs. There's often a way to do it cheaper and get exactly the same. Good luck to you.